Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and we're starting our 30 day transformation series. Everybody has a story and there is always a character arc in that story and we all are looking to transform in some way and become something that is already imprinted in us to tap into our greatest potential, be it heal, heal from an injury, heal from trauma, heal from something in the past, be it become stronger, become more centered, more grounded, more present, maybe lose some weight, maybe accept exactly how you are, develop more body positivity, more self-acceptance, more self-love. We all are looking to transform, to become something that is already within us and we're tapping into our greatest potential and needs to be unpeeled, uncovered. Are you ready to flow with strength and ease? So day one, we're going to come to the front of the mat, standing, a beautiful standing, strong posture, feeling the body, turning in, tuning in, Close your eyes for a moment and just pay attention to how you feel. See how you feel. See what your body is telling you. Pause, quiet the mind. Begin to take nice deep inhalations through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Feel the quality of your breath. Is it deep? Is it getting stuck somewhere? Just observe it, no judgment, acceptance, awareness, awareness of the body, awareness of the breath, quieting the mind and just observing the breath, shifting the attention from the monkey mind, the racing mind, to the breath, just observing the breath, tuning into the present moment. Feel that the present moment is a radio station and you're just tuning your radio on that station. And let's inhale the hands over the heart and feel your heart with gratitude that you're able to do this 30 day series. Gratitude for your present situation, full acceptance of where you are at, seeing all your challenges as your blessings, accepting that you're in the perfect place at the perfect time. And let's bring the eyes open, bend the knees, sit back and reach over the head. So you're gonna look down and make sure that you can see your toes, meaning you're not leaning far too forward. You're leaning back, sticking the boute back. Pushing that rear back. And great, exhale forward, bend. Keep your knees bent. Drop your toes down, shake your head. You can do a yes and a no movement here, making sure that your neck is relaxed, your spine is relaxed. Here, that's a perfect opportunity to decompress the spine and the neck. You're not holding your head, your head is hanging. Great, let's keep the knees bent. Take the left hand underneath the left shoulder and take the right arm up. Twisting here, elongating the spine, lengthening through the crown of the head. Smile. And opposite side. Take it easy, take, be kind to yourself, accept where you're at, and also smile. We're just doing yoga, nothing serious. It's just yoga, it should be fun. 
exhale down spread the fingers wide open step in plank and plank you will find out is my favorite pose <laughs> because developing a stronger core is not just a physically beneficial pose but it also allows us to tune into our self-acceptance better because it's the third chakra where the values our values are self-acceptance core values of course it's our powerhouse where we generate from and also allows us of course to have stronger back less pain prevents from injuries all right drop the knees on the ground and i'm gonna give you my second most favorite pose chaturanga so you're going to begin to bend at the, at the elbows and bringing the shoulders forward pull the belly in as hard as you can pull it in pull it in great drop on the ground belly on the ground elbows pressing into the rib cage open up in cobra you don't want to straighten the arms here this is incorrect you want to keep them bent shoulders back and down away from the ears how does that feel oftentimes we go through our day without a single heart opening pose so we're collapsed forward and this may feel uncomfortable but i promise you it is really good for you if it feels uncomfortable just breathe through it don't force it stay where it feels as a moderate challenge we want to feel good but also we want to enjoy the pose but we also want to step a tiny bit out of our comfort zone great tuck your toes under step it back downward facing dog so the feet here are hip width apart the hands are shoulder width apart spread the fingers wide open lifting through the tailbone your tailbone is lifting as high as possible for many of you your heels are gonna be off the floor and that's fine you may even bend the knee so that your back is straight and this is perfectly fine here as long as it's the right thing for your body you will you will benefit from the pose focusing on the breath let's inhale the right leg up lift it high lift it high great from here we're gonna bring the shoulders over the wrists and take up one legged plank squeeze the belly as hard as you can drawing the navel in towards the spine and we're gonna bring the knee between the elbows and all the way back into down dog one legged down dog one more time bring it in squeeze and back squeeze and back squeeze and back squeeze and hold around the back as much as you can and take your foot as much as you can forward on the mat it may be here you may be stronger and bring it a little more forward or you may need your hand to bring it in however you can get <laughs> to a lunge it all counts and now inhale coming up high lunge let's open the arms out and bring the hands over the heart with a big inhalation gathering energy gathering prana you will see that if you tap into your breath you have more energy so that is what is referred to prana it's that energy that we all can tap in into reaching over the head now we're going to bring the left hand on the floor press the back heel away from you and take the right arm up we're twisting here soften the belly now lengthen through the crown of the head and you will feel a strong long line from the back heel all the way to the crown of the head and you can even reach over the head with your left arm with your right arm sorry great and here you will 
roll onto the outer edge of the left foot, outer edge of the right, a little hip opener here, pressing the knee away from you. This should feel really good in the hips or opening in the hips. Great. And now we're going to stack the hips on top of each other. Variation of side plank is right foot on the floor, holding you here. You can stack the feet on top of each other, whichever one you prefer, but I want you to stack the hips on top of each other. Pull the belly in and lift the hips. So no sagging here, lifting and visualizing strong core. By the end of the 30 days, you will have a far stronger core, no matter where you're at right now. All right, release the hands down on the ground, lower down to your belly. Inhale, cobra, elbows bent, elongating, extending the tailbone down so the lower back is free and spacious and open. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take the left leg up and we're going to come into plank, one-legged plank, knee tuck, one, and back, really squeeze the belly, two, squeeze, 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 three, and back, four, and back, five, hold, round the back as much as you can, which gives you space here to step in, and step in, or step in. Great. Inhale, coming up. Extending the tailbone down so we're getting a good stretch in the hip flexors that can relieve lower back pain, hip pain. Great. Open the arms out, big breath in and bring the hands over the heart. Gathering. Feel the energy, the tingling energy in the hands. Mm, hold, hold that energy. Let's reach over the head. And let's bring the right hand on the floor. Left arm up. Feel that twist. Press the back heel up and away from you. Lengthening through the crown of the head here. You can even reach over the head here. This is going to help you with digestion after the overindulgent holidays. This can fire up the belly and the digestive organs for good digestion and a stronger, firmer core. Great. Roll onto the outer edges of your feet here. Feel that hip opening in the left hip. And you can stack the hips on top of each other. Take the variation of side plank that most suits you. Either feet stacking if you're very strong or you can have one foot in front of the other and for more easier variation but still very challenging is the left foot in front of you this is an easier variation and still it can challenge even an advanced practitioner if you know how to really contract the core engage the core muscles Exhale down, plank, pull the belly in really strong. Great, knees on the ground and we're gonna go for a second chaturanga. Bending at the elbows, reach forward, great. And here we're gonna go for either cobra or upward facing dog. For upward facing dog, knees are off the floor and still extending the tailbone down so that there is length in the spine. All right, knees back on the ground, press it back, downward facing dog. Great, inhale the right leg up, step it through however you can, drop the back heel down, look down, heel to heel alignment. Or if you're very, very new to yoga, 
um, you can step your back heel the left heel at about hip width apart so there is some space between the two legs or you can align them along the same line and come up no precision needed here just a general guideline and come up this is warrior one in warrior one we're working the right hip back and the left hip is internally rotating and coming forward so the, there's two forces at work here strength stretch push pull and we're finding the middle ground the middle path and working here to deepen the flexibility and the strength breathe breathe and find ease in your practice find ease in the difficult poses something like this where there is strength um, developing we should enjoy it we should like the challenge of getting stronger and that's usually a mental attitude something that we can tap into Nice deep breaths. Great, straightening the lead knee. We're gonna bring the right hand onto the right hip. Reach way ahead of you with the left hand and lower the hand somewhere onto your shin bone. When you find the gazing point, drishti point, open the right arm up. The gazing point will help you to balance here. To find balance. Fun, fun, fun. Gratitude that you are here in the position to do this practice, to tap into this pose. Great. Exhale both hands over the right leg. Extend it. Side stretch. You can deepen it if you're more flexible or you can stay a little higher. Keep the hip square if you can. And step it back. Plank, knees on the ground, lower down, really strong belly, chaturanga, and either cobra or upward facing dog. Open the chest. Back, pressing the knees back down or bringing the knees back down on the floor. And downward facing dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, heel to heel alignment, bend the left knee, come up. Warrior one, facing forward, internally rotating the right hip, finding here that balance. You can deepen it a little. Step slightly outside of your comfort zone, deepen the pose. And let's straighten the lead knee, left hand on the left hip. Reach way ahead of you with the right hand, flat back, straight back, lower down. You can step in the back foot if you need to for balance. Find your Gazing drishti point and open the left arm up here. Revolving triangle pose, lengthening through the crown of the head. Breathe. Great, exhale both hands onto the shin bone, square the hips. You can deepen it if you can.
And here we're going to walk the hands to the center of the mat. Bring your feet parallel to each other, hands underneath the shoulders. If you need to bend the knees, bend the knees or keep them straight. And we're going to take the right arm up, lengthen through the crown of the head. Left arm up, lengthen through the crown of the head. And one more time. And bring both hands down, open the feet out, come up, plie or horse stance. And you can shift side to side here. Let's bring the right hand over the right thigh, open the left arm up and over, change sides. Change sides, really lengthening both sides of the torso here. And back to center. And you can just shift side to side, explore the movement, free up the shoulders, feel the spine. Look down, make sure that your toes are aligning with your knees. So if your horse stance is a little more narrow, that's fine. Just align the toes with your knees uh, so that they're both pointing in the same direction. And eventually you can deepen it a little bit or not. Great, from here, lower down and plank. Press the heels away from you, pull the belly in. Loving the planks. If you enjoy them, if you learn to love them, you will be coming back. You will stick with it. And let's lower down, knees on the ground, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Knees on the ground, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down. Take a little wider stance here for warrior two. We're going to windmill the hands all the way to warrior two. Now the hips are facing out rather than forward. And we're externally rotating the left hip. Smile. Turn the right palm up, walk the left hand down the left leg and reach up and over here. Inhale, coming out of this, lower the right hand over the right forearm, over the right leg and lengthen through the crown of the head here. Externally rotating the left rib cage. Reach over the head with the left hand. Looking up. Great. Exhale both hands down. Step it back plank. Knees on the ground. Take the right hand palm facing up. Glide it underneath the left shoulder and bring the back of your right shoulder on the ground, back of the head on the ground for a little twist here. Exhale and soften. Inhale, coming out of this, opposite side. Your breath will guide your body. If you soften the breath, the body will soften into this pose.
and coming out of this knees on the ground chaturanga how's the chaturanga feeling let me know in the comments below come up cobra or upward dog and let's second chaturanga so knees on the ground pull the belly in bend at the elbows and now press up very good exhale downward facing dog inhale the left leg up step it through a little wider stance here heel to heel alignment open the foot slightly and bending the left knee windmill the hands all the way up to warrior two glorious finding the strength in this pose it's a warrior pose so we're tapping into our inner strength soften your gaze and relax the hands here not too much effort not putting way too much effort but just finding the ease here in this really strong pose actually the right hip is externally rotating so we're stretching here we're strengthening the left leg let's walk the right hand down the right leg bring the left arm up and over the head turn the palm of the hand down towards the floor and coming out of this forearm over the left leg right arm up lengthening both sides of the torso here and you can reach up and over the head with the right hand palm of the hand facing down and feel that length feel how beautiful this feels in the obliques the rib cage the lungs the kidneys great exhale both hands down on the ground step it back favorite pose plank yay <laughs> yay to the plank let's hold it press the heels away from you flatten the back so that the body is in one straight line just a slight tuck in the tailbone not too much nothing too extreme pull the belly in as hard as you can whenever you need to put your knees on the ground and continue with the plank you will thank me <laughs> later <laughs> For now, I know that a few of you might be cursing me. That's okay. You will come to love it. I promise. All right, knees on the ground. Chaturanga. Last one, maybe. Upward dog. Okay, maybe this one will be last. One more Chaturanga. You can, I promise, you can do it. And back to down dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat and point your toes out come into a squat so for some of you this might be a challenging pose it's one that it is good to master because it will help us age more gracefully it works with three joint flexibility and mobility it is good to maintain the mobility of the ankles knees and hips and the pose itself is very therapeutic for the pelvis in the lower back so if you can balance if you're just somewhere here with heels off the ground and hands in front of you for balance stay here and give it time if you can walk your hands back and if you can lower your heels good you can bring your hands in prayer and now the elbows will open the knees a little further out if you're really at the front just keep coming back to this class it will help you deepen the pose a little bit over time and you will not believe it actually how much your body can transform this is called yogic squat the benefits are just endless of this pose it's again one of my favorite poses today we're doing a lot of my favorite poses because they some of them just feel good and some of them may be challenging but the aftermath of them is just phenomenal all right speaking of poses that feel good 
we're gonna go into pigeon walk your hands to the front of the mat bring your right foot forward and right knee forward shin bone on the ground and see how this feels how does it feel if it feels like a nice opening in the hip then you can keep your spine elongated and lower down but if it feels like it's too much then you're gonna roll onto the very top of the shin bone bring your foot in more towards you and stay here and you can shorten the duration of uh, a pigeon you can do it just for a little bit and deepen it over time not in one day but over time so wherever you're at honor your body and hold the pose for enough time that you feel a little bit of an opening happening without forcing it so this is half of you's favorite pose <laughs> i know that it can feel challenging for some people and just amazing for others and that's fine both of these are fine we're supposed to enjoy yoga and we're supposed to also evolve in our practice and as humans always stepping out and becoming our what, what's imprinted in us tapping into our potential stepping more on purpose all right that's another pose that is very therapeutic for back pain or uneven hips it can even help with neck pain because as you know the spine is completely is one unit is in, interconnected okay coming up open the chest here very good and you can come back on all fours do a few knee circles with the right knee and let's take the left leg forward find where this is best for you you can adjust by walking the right foot back so that the hip is a little further away from your heel or walking the foot forward so that the hip is basically touching your heel and whichever one feels good so that your hips are equal distance from the floor you're not rolling on one side which won't be very helpful for the lower back you want to maintain the squareness and level of the hips elongate the spine here if you lower down that's good if you don't lower down that's also good allowing your body to be where it is at accepting and honoring where we're at Great, excellent. Coming up, open the chest, look up, extending the tailbone down. Great, back to all fours. And we're gonna just move that knee a few times. Cat cow, wrist underneath the shoulders, arch the back, look up, round the back, and look towards your navel. One more time, arch, look up, round last one arch come back to neutral and we're going to come down onto the booty sit down and pull the belly in as hard as you can lower down onto your back let's hug the knees into the chest give yourself a hug and just rock side to side here relaxing breath softening letting everything all the thoughts, all the things we need to do, etc. Just put them on pause. Be here, totally immersed in the moment, feeling the moment, observing the moment, being present.
and let's extend the left leg down bring the right knee across right shoulder stays down on the ground look over to your right and changing sides bring the left knee across look over to your left away from the knee coming out final pose for boosting the metabolism bridge so the hip the feet are hip width apart the toes are pointing directly forward press the hips up and you can Press the elbows down, palms of the hands facing each other, which ensures that your chest is open, shoulders down. And lift your hips as high as you can without opening the legs. Keep the knees directed forward. Tuck the tailbone slightly here so that there is a lot of space in the lower back. The legs are working and the reason why this is metabolism boosting is it, it is a challenging pose for the posterior chain, but also it does affect the thyroid um, according to Ayurveda and ancient yoga but in my personal practice in in practice it also helps with metabolism and as you lower down you're going to tuck the tailbone a little more so that you can lower one vertebra at a time all right knees touching each other you can Walk your feet a little further apart, just so that we can relax from bridge pose. A nice deep breath in. Exhale, great. Let's bring the hands over behind the knees and we're gonna rock a few times here. And all the way up to sit it, coming into easy pose. Sukhasana in a comfortable seated pose bring the hands over the knees palms facing up roll the shoulders back and down and congratulate yourself for completing this practice today good job we're going to inhale the hands over the head and exhale them over the third eye for always seeing the truth for always being tapped into our highest truth over the lips for always speaking the truth and communicating from our truth connecting with others from a place of truth and over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love Thank you all for joining me today for this first class. Please share the class with anybody you think might benefit from it. Yes, share the class, share the practice, share the series and subscribe. I would love to hear how this went for you. How did you like this class? Just let me know in the comments below and remember to flow with strength and ease.